हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू द चैप्टर मीटिंग एट नाइट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द पोएम्स टाइटल दैट इट इज अ इट इज अ पोएम व्हिच इज टेलिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ द सीक्रेट मीटिंग ऑफ द लवर्स एट नाइट एंड इट इज एसेंशियली अ लव पोएम एंड दिस पोएम holds a unique place in one of the brown in browning's lyrics so it is also considered as the browning's dramatic lyric why because it describes the adventurous journey as well as the passion of the lover who is <coughs> traveling over land and sea crossing the sea beach crossing the uh, fields he was he was very <coughs> ready to meet his beloved so here you would see that the uh, style of the poem essentially narrated the rising passion and uh, it became the climax of the poem so what would happen everyone would think there was a climax that what would happen at the end so at the end there was complete fulfillment the lovers got united with each other so the first stanza of the poem you would see it captures the excitement of the secret journey and the second stanza captures the anticipation and fulfillment of the meeting so we can understand from the poem that it is a very it is a poem described full of passion energy and vigor also meeting at night uh, has a uh, companion poem that is parting in the morning <coughs> the poem is all about two lovers who are in secret union in love in spite of all all external hurdles and socio economic uh, socio personal pressure they overcame everything and they were united here you can see a uh, fear a sense of fear then uh, secrecy and overwhelming emotion is uh, noticed in the poem so the poem uh, is a uh, very much the poem is very uh, is very appealing to the young readers and it just portrays it just portrays the uh, journey of the lover and it is the time the time that is selected yeah, is yeah, quite yeah. an adventurous time that is night so the i am starting the poem the gray sea and the long black land so at first the poet describes the sea the boy uh, the lover would be crossing the sea with it on his boat and the long black land the, the sea seems to be very much gray in color at night as there is no reflection of light and the black land the land seems to be very much black in color due to the darkness of night as well as the greenery which is there on the land seems to be black at night then then and and the yellow half moon large and low so the yellow half moon the moon uh seems to be yellow half moon means it is a crescent uh, part after the full uh, after the uh, full moon the moon is going towards the phase of new moon and there is a crescent part there and it is large it is low and it is uh, uh, very much close to the horizon and yes yellow seems to be uh, pointing at the waning moon and the unfulfillment love uh, unfulfillment love and the startled little waves that leap which a startled little waves startled means the waves which are very surprised by the presence of the poet on the boat in fiery ringlets from their sleep it seemed that the waves were sleeping 
but when the poet arrived there on his boat they seemed to jump up they seemed to jump up in fiery ringlets and from their sleep now what are fiery ringlets the waves are refle were reflected by the light of the moon there was a brightness uh, uh, shown on the waves on the ripples of water so there were uh, fiery ringlets means the waves were uh, glittering in the moonlight there was a sort of reflection of the moonlight on the ripples of water and it seemed that those ripples seemed to be resembling the uh, fiery ripple uh, fiery ringlet and it also signifies what that it was the passion of the lover as well as fiery fiery means the internal extreme passion of the lover as well as it resembled the golden locks or the golden curls of the beloved's hair as i gained the cup with pushing prow so gain the cup means the poet is poet has gained the speed and he is moving towards the shore or towards the inlet where he can anchor his boat and then he was moving with his pushing prow pushing prow means the prow means the front portion of the boat so the here the movement of the boat has been defined by the words by the expression pushing prow means he is traveling in a, at a very high speed towards the inlet <coughs> and quench its speed in the slushy sand so where does the poet quench his its speed quenches means the poet <coughs> the boat has slowed down where the poet boat quenches it quenches its speed means the po uh, boat boat slowly slowed down reduces reduce its speed and was about to anchor in the slushy sand slushy sand means the sand <coughs> the sand which was very wet as it was on the shore of the sea so the lover was ready to, uh, to anchor his boat on the wet sand and the the, the boat was that and he was undertaking his journey in the night